Yes, I found a Taco Bueno burrito in my engine today. What is up, Lambros? SteveCarrington.com here. If you're new to the channel, I'm Lambro Steve. This place might look familiar because I'm at White Glove Auto Style Protect Maintain. Myron was just telling me about this new intro they have. Might have to steal a little piece of it and throw it in here. But uh, today, you can see Mr. Myron back there is uh, hot up under a Porsche and doing a little passport max ci interface um into a porsche so this is what he does he's taking all the pieces apart wiring this sucker look at all those screws look at all that that big old piece had to come off it's actually kind of nice under here under this here porsche what kind of porsche is this a macan and then you see the huracan back there so I was asking Myron, you know, I have the K40, which is, I like, it's pretty cool. And this is the Passport, so like, what's the difference? So a lot of car guys will ask me, hey, what, what radar detector do you have? And do you like it? There's a lot of discussion that happens about which one's better, which one's cheaper, faster, better, all that fun stuff. I like K40 for a couple reasons. One, Myron sold it to me and he said it was good, so I like that. Second thing is, is he was able to put it in with only having to drill two holes in my car. So the two dome assembly lights, I'll show you here. As I turn the car on, you can, you can kind of see right there. K40 scan active. Those are the only two things that you can see that uh, would even tell you that there's a K40 in this thing or any kind of radar in this thing. So. The Passport, uh, Myron was just telling me, is a little bit different because it's got a bigger display, tells you more stuff, it has more audible things. It's uh, more present in the car, like people will be able to see it. You can see the little pad or whatever it is. So, if you want a Passport, get one. <laughs> if you want a K40, get one. But the big bonus with K40 is they pay your tickets for a year. Now I thought, okay, big deal. But really what happens is over time you learn the machine, you learn the system, and so you know the different sounds that it makes and you kind of get trained on how to listen for the cops and, and the radar. So uh, after one year, they send you an extension thing where you can pay 150 bucks. And I know for myself this year, I've had about seven or $800 worth of ticks paid by K40. So thank you K40, you guys are awesome. I'm gonna get a little bit of film of him uh, putting that, that uh, passport in, but first, I want to show you the wheels so i okay so i had the you've seen in a previous video i have the reflective green tape and we're going to redo that but in the meantime it was looking pretty rough so i had to take it off and underneath it is white now i know i'm going to get mixed reviews on this and i already have i mean some people hate it some people it's actually dirty right now we clean the wheels but i'm probably getting ready to grab the vacuum and wipe the windows down and do all that kind of stuff but what do you think about the wheels Myron what do you think about the wheels I mean just you know be honest do you like them I don't like they're bad he doesn't think they're bad <laughs> I don't like he they're didn't bad. say he liked them <laughs> very specific there he didn't say he liked them well I guess it's all up to your opinion on whether or not you like them or not I think I will probably change the center maybe go black with that and then obviously the cool thing about this white rim is you can change any color you want I also took off the purple tint off the headlights because I could not see <laughs> I couldn't see anything so tell me what you think make a comment about what you think about the wheels and then I'll be right back with some cool video of how you put in a passport into a Porsche Macan later okay people we are back we are back we're still at white glove a couple things have happened. First of all, sweating my you know what off because I just like wiped down my own car 
and uh, I think it actually looks good. Myron gave me a lesson on after he watched me do it the wrong way. He was like, look, let me show you, bro. The only thing I haven't done, Myron, is I didn't do the back window. Oh, why not? I think I just forgot. I'm going to do the back window. But we have wires hanging down here. So, Myron, what does this thing do? This is the jammer? Yeah, that's the actual laser shifter of the system. The laser shifter? Yes. What does it do? So, uh, when a police officer uses their laser gun and shoots it at your car to get your speed, it actually intercepts the signal and shifts it away, so it, it tells the officer that they actually miss the target. They don't get the speed on their gun. Oh! Look at you, sneaky little thing there. So there's one here, one here, and then I'm guessing there's probably one in the back. We're only doing a front system on this. Okay. So nothing So he'll just get indicated from the front if someone sneaks up behind him. Yeah. No bones. And this is a radar receiver? Radar and laser receiver. Got it. So how long does it take you to take put this in? Um, depends on the car. This one's probably going to take me about four to five hours. Four or five hours. I gotta tell you, he started to take this top off. There was one little piece, and I was like, this is exactly where I would have given up. So, if you're not mechanically inclined or know how to take this stuff apart, <laughs> that's why I bring mine to White Glove. He, I definitely did not do squat on putting my K40 in, for a good reason, because I probably would have broke it. But, let's check out this car. And then I wanna show you this Mustang that he's got over here. The GTS. This is actually a clean looking car. All black. Macan GTS. Now, this, my friends, is a rental car. Literally. It's like some special Hertz rental car. Tell us about it, Myron. Uh, they actually produced, I like 150 of these uh, okay. for Hertz. It was for their uh, rent racer program. Um, and they're actually worth about $70,000 right 70 now. 70 grand! And look, it says number 143. So it must have some badging on here somewhere that tells you the number, like in the VIN number or something. But uh, Hertz made a souped up rental fleet, and this is one of the cars. And uh, Myron has it here because Penske and Hertz are big clients of his. And uh, they brought it here. That's probably not true, but whatever. It says Hertz Penske GT, so it's definitely a thing. Tonight is... Uh, Andy's frozen custard, so we're gonna go do that later. Bros, check it out. Myron's over there wrapping this tape up. He doesn't know I have this drill. I'm gonna come up behind him. <laughs> he didn't even flinch! He didn't even flinch! I tried to drill him in the ear and nothing. I got nothing. I need a more powerful prank, guys. Come on! Back. We have Miko headed with Keto, and I think they're in the SLR McLaren. I think. I don't know. I couldn't quite tell. He did FaceTime me. Still working on the uh, passport. Uh, right now, Myron's looking for places to uh, feed this here wire that he just wrapped up. This thing's going to have to go somewhere up through the engine bay and through the firewall. But you just never know. This is a brand new car, so you got to like donk with it for a minute and figure out a way to get it in there so we're gonna be here for probably i don't know another four or five hours so once it all gets in there we'll be back homies i went to start my listen what have we done we've done nothing with my car except drive it i just got the oil changed i think i just put a cord in but luckily i keep a quart of oil in because my freaking oil light just came on and said put an engine oil so i thought good opportunity we do the 5w40 because i always have one of these in here I like to do Castrol, but I, wherever I was, they only had Valvoline. So we'll just stick that up there. And so these things come off. I've already done two of them or three of them, but these little quarter turn fasteners. So I'll let Myron, here Myron, you wanna do the quarter turns? Yep. And then, so just underneath here is the, uh, 
the oil cap so you can put oil in. It's really easy. You don't even have to have a funnel. So always carry one if you're a Lamborghini owner. Just carry one of these in your uh, in your car, and then it just goes like in right in right there. So we'll take the Valvoline. What is that? <laughs> what the heck is that, Myron? <laughs> What is in my engine? <laughs> There's like a... Dude, it's burnt. You know it gets hot in here. Dude, it is still a little... That is a... Uh... That's Taco Bueno, bro! Dude, okay. that thing about caught fire. Somebody was trying to warm up their lunch. Somebody... <laughs> Holy crap, holy. What, what kind of crap you find in a Lamborghini <laughs> engine? No way. Oh, what in the world? Bro, look, it's like wedged inside this little hole here. Like I wonder, the last, John, the last guy to change my oil is, is guilty of this. Were you eating Taco Bueno while you, were you eating Taco Bueno while you were changing my oil, bro? What is going on here? I don't wanna bore you with like putting oil in an engine. Plus I'm still beside myself. Well, and whatever that means, like I'm here, but I'm over there. But uh, you know, this has to go back in. It didn't take all that oil, so I saw it a little bit left. That goes in there, and we put the... Guys, we have people showing up. I, I think there will be some more action. I think this Porsche will be done. But I think I'm done for today. I think that all the things that could possibly happen that would be exciting enough for you to watch have already happened. Yes, I found a Taco Bueno burrito in my engine today. I found a Taco Bueno burrito in my engine today. I don't know if you heard that I found a Taco Bueno. Like, I think it's like, Myron, what do they call them? It's like the party taco and the party burrito. This was a party burrito that was almost on fire. Can you imagine if my car burned to the ground because of a Taco Bueno party burrito? Oh my God! I gotta find out who did this, and they're going down. John, if it was you, I'm coming. I'm, I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick some butt. It's going down. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. When we come back, we might find more. I don't know. Maybe there's some pop tarts in there too. We'll see, you guys. Okay.